I think if I had a toilet in here, I, I, I would flush it because Georgia season is headed down the friggin' drain! Three weeks before the season starts and you lose your starting quarterback. Wee! Jamie Newman, what well, reports out, Jamie Newman presumed starting quarterback for the University of Georgia in 2020, the third highest ranked quarterback in all of college football for the 2020 season by Pro Football Focus, is opting out to focus on the draft uh, because of COVID concerns. The curse is real. Like, I, I don't know. First, well, first of all, let me say this. I hope this is really the reason. Uh, and it's sad that I, it's sad that the thought even crosses my mind that it might not be the reason. Um, any player, any player, even for my beloved dogs, even the starting quarterback for my beloved dogs, that chooses to sit this season out because of COVID concerns, I completely understand and respect that. I, I'm not going to have a negative thing to say about it. Uh, Georgia definitely is not the only team that has had uh, this happen with star players. So I, I understand if that's the case. And it better be the case, too. I better not find out. I better not find out that Kirby Smart took Jamie Newman aside and told him he wasn't going to be the starting quarterback for one reason or another. Um, I better not find that out, especially, especially in lieu of JT Daniels. If JT Daniels is the guy, I, I listen, I, I have talked about, I've been asked a million times my thoughts on JT Daniels. I've said the same thing every time. I, I've got nothing against JT Daniels personally, and I hope I'm wrong about the kid. I do. But when I look at JT Daniels, I see Jack Frome in disguise. That's just what I see. That's just what I see. And I've had it up to here. Uh, yeah, with, with, with Jack Frome. I don't want any, I don't, no more Jack Frome. This guy, like Jack Frome Jr., just JT Daniels. One year at Southern Cal, 2018, uh, full-time starter, negative 140 yards rushing, JT Daniels had. Oh, well, he's not a running quarterback. I get that. And, and I'm not saying you have to have a running quarterback. But you need a quarterback whose legs work. As a Georgia fan, I found that out the hard way the last three years, suffering uh, through three seasons with Frome. I appreciate Fromm for what he did. This isn't a bash Fromm video, but I was excited to turn the page on the whole three yards in a cloud of dust 1980s offense that Georgia has been stuck in neutral with for the last 40 friggin' years. I was excited to turn the page with an up-tempo, fast-paced, exciting, grown-up offense that featured a legitimate passing game with a quarterback who had legs that worked and was actually capable of extending the pocket, escaping uh, pressure in the pocket, running for a first down, oh, oh, I don't know, three or four times a year, maybe? Is that too much to ask? It is, it is if Fromm's your quarterback, and it appears that it is if JT Daniels now is the quarterback. I, I don't know what we're going to do here. I, I just don't know. Um, you, know you know, talent is one thing. You got to see it on the field. Do I think JT Daniels is talented? Yeah, he was a five-star for a reason. One season at Southern Cal, injured all last year, didn't play, now he's at Georgia. I don't know. DeJuan Mathis, is he talented? Yeah, but he's never played. You know, he didn't play last year. He was a true freshman, medical issue, didn't play. Um, you know, Carson Beck, four-star recruit, great. Uh, never played. Uh, you know, I mean, Jamie Newman, say what you want. Even the Jamie Newman haters, at least the guy had experience. And again, oh, he played for Wake Forest. Oh, this is your stats against Clemson. Just read an article, okay? Yeah, I'm a Georgia fan, so, so what? I'm high on Jamie Newman. So is everybody else who's not a Georgia fan and studies these things for a living. Uh, 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 Newman was projected to be the third quarterback taken in next year's draft. That was before this season. So, yes, the guy's talented. And he can run. He only hit 400 yards. Okay, great. Do you, do you have any idea how many first downs 400 yards is over the course of a season? For your quarterback! How many yards did Fromm, how many first downs Fromm rushed for three years at Georgia? Two, I think, two. The guy had like negative 130 yards over the course of his whole career. He, he couldn't move. And from everything I've seen of JT Daniels, he can't move. I hope I'm wrong. I'm a Georgia fan. JT Daniels comes out and runs for a first down in the first game of the year. I'll be the first one doing handstands and jumping jacks. But it doesn't appear to be the case. Jamie Newman was my man, and he's gone.
Jamie Newman and Justin Fields are the best two quarterbacks Georgia has had in a while. Oh, my God. I don't know. I don't know. What, what do you want me to say? I don't know. Uh, JT Daniels is coming off of, of yet another injury. He's not even cleared for full contact, JT Daniels. I really hope this is true and Jamie Newman really is opting out on his own uh, for COVID reasons and to prepare for the draft. I, I, if, if I find out, uh, there's already a rumor that Ole was throwing too many interceptions at practice and they had JT Daniels running with the ones instead of Jamie Newman. So Jamie Newman said, screw this. Why am I going to come here as a grad transfer to ride the bench against this guy with concrete feet, JT Daniels? I, I don't blame you, Jamie Newman. If that's the case, I, I would have left too. Um, I, I, I really hope I don't find that out. That, but that can't be true. That can't be true. Kirby Smart's not that stupid. He can't be that stupid to make the same mistake twice. He can't be that dumb to make the same mistake twice in a three-year period. There's no way. There's no way you choose Fromm over Fields and then turn right around and choose Fromm Jr. over Jamie Newman. That cannot. That can't be true. That just can't be the case. I refuse to believe it. I'm gonna take the. I, I, I'm gonna. It's gotta just be that he wanted to. He's worried about COVID. That's gotta be it. Because if it's not, and I, and I find out, like I said, Kirby or somebody that went to him and said, listen, look here, buddy, thanks, but no thanks, not going to work out. Uh, we're going a different direction. We're going to play uh, We're gonna play JT Daniels. I'll, I'm liable to put my head through one of these new windows out here. I, I'm not kidding. Uh, I, it, would be, it would be too much for me to bear, honestly. It really would. It really would. So here we are again. Heading into another season with one of the most talented teams in America. A chance for a great season and quarterback issues. And yes, we had quarterback issues last year when Fromm was a junior. The year before that when Fromm was a sophomore. The year before that when Fromm was a freshman. We've just, it's just quarterback issue after quarterback issue. Uh, most of the issue was choosing the wrong quarterback. And I really hope that's not the case here. I, whoever ends up being named the starting quarterback for Georgia. Listen, I'm a Georgia fan. Whoever they name as the starting quarterback is going to have 100% of my support from game one forward until and if they give me a reason to withdraw that support. So I've made my feelings known over the last three or four months about, uh, about JT Daniels. I'm not going to change my mind today just because it looks like he might be the starter. But come week one, if JT Daniels is a starter, if it's DeJuan Mathis, if it's Carson Beck, if it's Stetson Bent, well, not if it's, it better not be, if it's, listen, if it's Stetson, if they try Stetson Bennett out there to start a game, I'll become a Florida fan the next day.